everything. Because on the Cobra song, she talked about you, um, <laughs> you know, in the same bed that she sleeps in, right? So you said it wasn't there. So what did happen? Did that's, you cheat? That's not what happened. Put it like that. That's not what happened at all. Um, what's she? No, 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 let, don't let, do let, that. No, 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 please, 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 please. Because, <laughs> don't you but, do that. No, 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 because I really need to go there. I really, really, really do. Did you get but your dick sucked by deflecting. somebody else? I'm not else. deflecting it. Did she catch you getting your dick sucked? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Did you have sex or be or you intimate with somebody else while y'all while y'all were in, in a relationship? relationship? Absolutely not. You're saying you didn't cheat. Absolutely. But this is my thing, right? <laughs> okay. Is, is hiding text messages cheating from your partner? Is that cheating? Well, what are these text messages? Well, I feel if like... If it's something that you got to hide from your partner, is it cheating? Right, and that's what I was going to say. I feel like anything, and I've, I've answered this plenty of times, I feel like anything that you are doing that you would not do in front of your significant other, I feel like that's a form of cheating. Or Rather anything you don't want her doing. Right. Rather it's be, emotionally, you know. physically, <clears throat> intellectually, if it's something that you're not going to do right in front of your partner or something that you wouldn't accept your partner doing from you, then yes, that's cheating. Yeah, that's just perfect. my thought. So did you cheat? In that regard, I, 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 I say so. You okay. know what I mean? So but maybe it was inappropriate stuff. But I will say In, inappropriate, inappropriate, correct, right? <laughs> okay. The inappropriate, correct. But the way that it was painted, that would have me so mad. I'm like, this is the part of the relationship after everything that took place, everything that was like kind of, you know, forgiving everything that we've washed away. Especially when nobody asked for this. This is what you want to go with. What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's itydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to start this off. You heard Partisan Fontaine. You heard uh, what he said on Angela Yee's show. I guess it's lip service. I think it's still called lip service. And he basically pulled an R. Kelly. Remember when they asked R. Kelly, does he like teenage girls? And he said, when you say teenage, what age are we talking? <laughs> Partisan said, now when you say cheating, what do you mean? Do you mean hiding things from your partner? And then you hear them explain to him anything that you wouldn't do in front of your partner. You know, if it's tech, whether it's texting, sexing, whatever, an emotional connection, like whatever you would not do in front of your partner, they said it's cheating. Then, then they asked him again, so did you cheat? And then he said, well, then I guess the answer is yes. But he denied that he ever got caught getting his D sucked. He denied that she ever walked in on him. Right, so... Y'all can uh, judge if you believe partisan or not. He basically said the thing that got him was, oh, out of our relationship, that's what you took out of it. That's what you bring up out of all the things that we buried and that we went through and all the things that I was there for, we were there for each other on. That's what you bring up. But you guys are separated. You guys are split now. So, of course, that's what she's going to bring up. Y'all ain't together no more. So y'all let me know whether you believe Parts and Fontaine or not. But he did admit to hiding, doing something, hiding from Megan. So he admits to the cheating, but he just said that he never got caught and he wasn't physically sleeping with someone else. Moving on to Ice Spice, Princess Diana. And this picture has gone viral. It's a picture of a... Uh, Ice Spice with no makeup and no filter on. And people were dragging her in the internet. Now, to me, the picture doesn't look bad. It's just that around, around the front of her hair, around the front of her head, I think she needs to stop with the lace front for a while. Because it looks as though like the lace front is, is like peeling off some of her hairline. You know what I mean? Like in the front, that, that whenever that whenever you have too many lace fronts, they glue down hard. You know what I'm saying? You gonna start. Sometimes you peel some of your skin off with that glue. So I think she needs to chill with the lace front. She always says that the red hair isn't a wig. So when you have straight hair one day, and then, um. 
that red wig the next day. You mean to tell me you curled your hair up all night and then the next day it was like that? That's hard to believe that that's not a wig, right? But she said that the red top is not a wig. But this right here looks like it's, you know, her hair. Or, or maybe that's a lace front. Who knows? If it is a lace front, the front of your scalp, sweetheart, looks like it's peeling off. As far as her face goes, I don't see anything wrong with that. There's no makeup. She has no makeup. People are going to look different with no makeup. It's not like she's ugly. Right? But y'all let me know. Do y'all see anything wrong with this picture? Do you think Ice Spice is ugly? That she has this picture here with no makeup? To me, the hairline just looks funny. It seems like whatever uh, wigs or whatever she's wearing, it seems like it's, it's scraping her hairline. But maybe I'm tripping. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about Ice Spice's um, no filter, no makeup pics. And congratulations to the girl, Bacalis Cardi B. 9.1 million people viewed her TikTok performance, you know, online. Plus, it was sold out, you know, in the arena. So, shout out to Cardi B. That is remarkable uh, for someone who most of the songs are old. You know, she did a couple of new songs. But, um, well, newer songs. And she did the verse from Tomorrow 2. And, of course, she did Bongos. But the majority of those other songs were from Invasion of Privacy. So, shout out to Cardi B that she has that many people still interested. And she's saying 2024 is going to be a big year. So, I, I know everybody's excited about that. As far as the thing with Offset, people are asking me, do I think it's real? Do I think it's real? Um, I would hope Cardi B wouldn't uh, wouldn't fake something like this. So I'm going to say, yeah, I think it's real. However, if you're going to get back with him, why do all this? I, I mean, if you're truly not going to get back with him, um, then I can see that. But if you do all this and then get back with him again, that's not going to be a good look. So I would just say to Cardi B, just make sure that this time you are truly done with, well, uh, done with that brother. It's more important. Rap should sound like fucking rap. That's y'all fucking problem. And that's why all of the record labels are, not all, but some are scrambling so bad because they about to go fucking bankrupt. Because they was trying so bad to replace this one bitch. And when you water something down, you lose the quality, which then loses the investors and investments because it's not bringing back any profit and that is why people who do not understand rap are judging rap why it's because the same way y'all get y'all used to get mad and say hmm who's actually voting for the grammys well guess what you have no idea that most people voting for most awards don't listen to that kind of music that they're voting. Most people speaking on music don't actually listen to the kind of music they're speaking on. And sweetheart, that is the best fucking compliment I've gotten in years. If any fucking thing I do made you feel like my motherfucking mixtape, then bitch, not only do I got the best pussy in the world, then I got the best brain in the world too. What? Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? What should it sound like then? Should it sound like Mozart? Should it sound like opera? Should it sound like Les Miserables? No. And what my fan, what the, the what the fans fell in love with was that. And that was, of course, the one and only Nicki Minaj. Now, 
This is what I didn't want Nicki to do. I just don't, you know, you told everybody that this album, everyone was going to gag. Uh, you said that this is your greatest album to date. But when you put it out there, it's kind of like getting the reception kind of like that I saw um, for all the dogs get. Of course, the Drake fans loved it, but a lot of other people didn't like it. The general public was 50-50 on it. Right? Even some Drake fans didn't love it because it wasn't what they were expecting. And I think a lot of people felt this way about Pink Friday, too. Not me. Like I said, I gave it a 7 out of 10. But a lot of people aren't feeling this album, and they feel as though they didn't get what they were expecting. And that is not uh, sitting well with Nicki Minaj. The Of course, the pitchfork. Um, review came out. She's telling people, don't listen to people over there. They don't know what they're talking about. This is why that they have basically white people that aren't into the culture judging rap. But the thing is, those these same people have been doing this for years. And yet when they give you a favorable review, you don't say, hey, don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. You see, I, I get where Nikki's coming from, right? I truly get where Nikki's coming from because I've said some of the same stuff. But you have to keep it consistent. Right? You know, you can't crap on uh award shows or billboard or whatever, and then when you receive the awards, oh, it's like, oh, thank you, Billboard, for this, da, da, da. You know, so when she says the part about, yes, it is watered down product, but not all of the female rappers. Are watered down. Lotto can rap. Megan Thee Stallion can rap. So it's not like all of of the female rappers are watered down, right? So there's other people. Uh, you know, Cardi B may not be uh, a as good a rapper as Lotto and Megan Thee Stallion, but Cardi B's no slouch. I mean, let's not act like she's just some bum. Right. She may not be on Megan Thee Stallion or Lotto's level, but let's just not act, let's not act like Cardi B's a bum. So it's like there's a Lady London. There's plenty of girls out there. And the thing is with Nicki, you're saying you're talking about people, you know, the product is watered down and because they're not really rapping. But you endorse Ice Spice. You endorse Sexy Red. They don't rap. They're not rappers. They can't really rap, but but you have no problem endorsing them because they're your sons. They, 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 they'll they sit under you, right, and, and, you know, let you lead the way. They're betas. So you you call them your babies, and you have no problem with them, but Ice Spice and Sexy Red is never going to be uh, confused for, you know, Lauren Hill, <laughs> you know what I mean, and, and, and Young M.A., so I just think that Nikki's a, a little upset about the reception of the album. And um, that's what's causing her to, she said a lot more as well. You know, she's talking about when she freestyled for stack bundles and everything. And, and I get all that. But you have to stay consistent with it. If this bothers you, then it should bother you all the time. Then you shouldn't be endorsing people like Sexy Red and, and, um, Ice Spice, because they don't rap either. Right? So, that's all I comment on that. I wish she didn't have to go here. She looks like she's going to be doing an interview with Joe Button. She said, oh, I, I always have to curse this guy out. It's, so, it looks like that interview will probably come out in a couple of weeks. Her interview with Joe Button. But, um, shout out to Nicki Minaj doing her rounds in New York City. Um, If you haven't checked out Pink Friday 2, check it out. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the A Network.